Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are doing one of the most requested videos is setting up kind of the Badger Discord sided scripts. Um, I'm going to be focusing on the main API script, setting that up in the first part of this video. Then we're going to go ahead and check out some of the other scripts later on in the video. I will be including timestamps for this video, so feel free to use the chapter feature on YouTube to skip part um, and go to wherever you need to in this video. Um, I'm going to assume that you have a server set up already. If you don't, go check out our video on setting up a 5M server. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get straight into this. There's a few things we're going to need. We're obviously going to need the overall API. Um, I'm also going to be installing the Discord Ace Perms later on. Um, and you're also going to need to go to the developer portal for um, Discord. And we're going to create a new application and set it to our Discord server. All right. So in order to download the script, uh, you can go ahead and click the Tebex link. Um, it is free. So you can download it for free and just enter 000 um, on, this paper, on this page. And then it, um, it will redirect you over to the GitHub once you go through that whole checkout process. Um, so once you're over on the GitHub, all you got to do is press the big green download button, press download zip file, and then open it up with WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, whatever you use to use these. And um, what we're going to do first is we're just going to drag this into our resources folder, but we're going to have to start configuring this to what we need. Um, so just go ahead and rename this right off the bat and just get rid of that dash main at the end. We don't want that there. We just want it to be badger underscore discord underscore API. And then when you're in here, the thing we're actually going to be taking a look at is the config.lula because there's a few things you're going to need. You're going to need your guild ID, you're going to need your bot token, and then you're going to need to set up your role list. And then you can obviously set up your um, like splash pictures and then your server names and websites and all that good stuff as well. Um, so let's talk about how to get a guild ID. So over here in Discord, just make sure you're in developer mode. If you don't know how to get into developer mode, you're just going to go to your profile here. And then you're going to go down to um, advanced and then you're just going to make sure developer mode is turned on. Um, so when you're in developer mode, you're just going to go over to the right hand side, wherever your 5M server list or whatever guild you're using is. And then right click and then press copy ID here. And this is the ID you're going to go ahead and paste into the config. And there we go. So now we're actually going to have to get our bot token and we're going to have to set up our role list. So in order to get our bot token, if we go back over to the Discord developer portal, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new application. And I'm just going to name this 5M Video Test or something. That's what I'm just going to do. So I'm just going to do that easily. You name this whatever you want. And um, obviously, I'm going to delete this after, so none of this will work. So don't try to use the same details. Um, then you're going to go down to bot here. And then you're actually going to add a bot user to this. Press yes. And then I'm just going to keep the name the same. And then I'm going to turn it off as a public bot because I only want it to join my server. I don't want anything else. But I am going to just go ahead and copy the token for the bot and go ahead and paste it in here just like that. And then we got to set up our role list. But before we do that, we're actually going to invite our bot to our Discord server. You're going to go to OAuth 2. And then once you are here, you're just going to go ahead and um, select the bot here so we're going to just find where bot is just right there and then we're going to do bot permissions as administrator and we're going to copy this url and if i paste this url in it's going to be like hey where do you want to select it i'm going to send it to my 5m server discord i'm going to authorize it i'm going to do this weird captcha thing that never works because it's a captcha and it's really really annoying that's a train right oh well i failed that see this is what i mean i don't like captchas um so I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and when I get through this, there we go. It's going to actually have that bot on our Discord. So here we go, 5M Video Test. It's going to have its administrator role as well. So now it can access those role lists and everything else. So we are done in terms of the Discord side. We don't need this anymore. All right, so now let's go ahead and go over how to add the roles and all that stuff. So first off, we actually have to go create a role inside of our Discord server. So I'm just going to create a new role. I'm going to call it owner or something along the lines of that. Make it yellow or whatever else I want to do. Um, permissions i'm just gonna give it an administrator permission um there we go just gonna make that administrator save that and i'm gonna give myself the role so we can just go ahead and keep this easy now same thing we did previously when you're in the role menu you could be right clicking and this makes it the easiest as long as you're in developer role you can go ahead and copy the id and that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna copy the id of this role and to just make an example i'm just gonna make a test role for a secondary role so we can pull that id in a moment all right, so inside of our role list, if you've never used kind of this type of format before, let's go over how you use it. So you're just going to put a few spaces in here and then underneath, um, you're going to go right underneath the space after the L here to start off. 
um, and you're going to do bracket and then um, you're going to type whatever you want this role to be called in game. I'm just going to name it the same thing. Make sure not to add spaces here because um, it may break and then equals and then that role ID that we just copied. And you're going to do the same thing for every single one of your roles that you want to add. So we made this test two just like that. And then that equals whatever that test two role ID is. Let's go ahead and pull that from our server. So we're going to take our test two role ID and we're going to go ahead and paste that in and add a comma at the end. Those are our two roles. So we have those synced now. Go ahead and have that. I'm going to disable the splash screen. I don't think it's needed on mine, but you can obviously configure this to your liking anytime you need to configure it. Um, so just make sure you go ahead and change all that up. All right, so now the final thing we have to do with this is obviously they do also provide an example.lula. So how you can pull those role IDs in your other scripts, if you have custom scripts or anything, if you're a developer, look this over. If you're not, you probably won't need it if you're um, installing existing resources. Um, so go ahead and copy the name of the folder just so we can add it to our server.cfg file, edit with notepad plus plus and add ensure that just at the top. You're going to want to enable any of your um, other resources below the Discord API. The Discord API obviously is the thing that handles everything with the other resources. So you need this first. So make sure to keep that right there. That is it for that. Now we actually have to go install something that's used by this API. All right, and that thing that we are going to install next is Discord Ace Perms. Um, I do recommend reading over the documentation. This one's a little bit more advanced. Um, so once you go through the checkout process over on Tebex with this link, um, it's going to take you to the GitHub. Same thing we previously did. We're going to press the code button and we're going to download it as a zip. We're going to unzip this and we're just going to go ahead and move this folder just like we did before into our resources folder, making sure to delete that dash master or dash main, whatever pops up for you at the end of it. So it's just called Discord Ace Perms. It's that easy. Now, I do recommend reading over this part because I'm going to go over it in the video, but you should always be reading the documentation. So make sure to read stuff over. All right. So now we are here. We're going to open up our config.lula file. You can configure your server name. So I'm going to configure my server name as the BJHD development server. My Discord URL, I'm going to set to our Discord URL. So HTTPS development.com slash Discord. And our website, obviously, I'm just going to make it BJHD dev, or I can actually do BJHD.dev. I think we own that domain as well. There we go. So here's where we're going to configure this once again. Your role IDs here are going to be the same things we just pulled from Discord again, but this is where it changes. This is what you're going to put in your server.cfg file when assigning or any other permissions type file. If you're using the menu, you'll have a permissions.cfg as well. You're going to use these group names here for those files. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to delete all but two of them. Well, I'm going to leave member and I'm going to just do this. So what we'll do is we'll make this our group and I'm just going to name it test two and our group owner. So it just fits up with our discord roles here. I'm going to take the test two role and I'm going to replace its role list with that. And then I'm going to take its owner role, once again, copying the ID and replacing the group owner role with it and going ahead and save this file. So, so far we have group .test two and group owner. So anyone with this discord URL, which we have in our um, discord server will have the group owner permissions. Anyone with this will have the group test two permissions wherever you may set those up um, when you are doing this. All right, now that we have done this, we're going to go back. We're going to go ahead and copy the name of the folder, Discord Ace Perms, and we're going to go to our server.cfg and we're going to start actually configuring some of this. So underneath our insure here, we're just going to add insure Discord Ace Perm right below the Discord API. So just make sure you do that right after, or it doesn't have to be right after. Just make sure you do that. And there's two things we're going to have to add to this. And I like just adding them at the top. So I always know where they are and what it's doing. We are going to have to do add underscore ace resource dot discord ace perms command dot add principle allow and we're also going to have to add the remove principle which is the same exact thing but re dot remove principle rather than dot add principle both these are on the documentation so you can just copy and paste them from the documentation all the links are down in the description below what is this you're asking well this is allowing the permissions to work 
So make sure you don't rename your folder from Discord Ace Perms or it's not going to work. There's a reason we removed that dash master and this is the reason up here. This is where the permissions come from. So down here, you can see the add system admins. Add Ace group.admin command allow. See how they have the default thing there? And we have our easy admin group and everything. Well, this is where we actually go ahead and configure this. So with my, I set myself earlier in the um, series in the 5M installs to a Steam admin. So I have my identifier for Steam group admin. So by default, I'm already setting myself to group owner when I join the server with Discord. So I don't need to do this. This, no need to do. Terrific. So this is pretty much eliminating your need for Steam permissions or any of that. You're now using Discord. This is where you're going to configure any of your other systems. So whatever you, resources you're using that requires permissions and however they have them set up, mostly using Ace Perms, most likely, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to enter the name of the group here. So this is group.admin, but I'm just going to add group.owner. So now only the owner group from Discord is going to be able to use Easy Admin. No one else is going to be able to use it. So if, even if I'm a Steam admin and I'm in a group.admin, I'm not going to be able to use it. I need to be group.owner. And by default, from what we set up in the files, we know that is good to go. Terrific. All right. That's pretty much all we have to do overall. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this resource out. Now, if we go ahead and start up our 5M server, we're just going to make sure everything has started up successfully. So um, it has found my permissions to my 5M um, Discord here. So, whoops, there it goes. Um, so you can see as long as it says you're correct 5M um, Discord and it says they both started up, you're pretty much good to go. You've done everything you need to do. Um, to prove that this is working, I'm going to go ahead and real quick install easy a easy admin just to keep it easy <laughs> funny um so let me do that real quick and let's go ahead and hop in game after that all right so we're just gonna go ahead and connect to our um server here and if all this works and I press F2 when we get in, I should open up the easy admin menu and have the admin permissions for it. So that's how we're going to know this works is by opening that easy admin menu and making sure it all works. So I have joined the server here. If I go ahead and press F2, um, other than Lambda menu also opening, I don't know how I could close. There we go. Um, so there we go. Easy admins open. I have my server management. I can clean up the area. I have, um, all that good stuff as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. So I can kick and ban, which means I have those admin permissions and we have set everything up correctly, which is terrific. Um, so yeah, that's pretty easy. Pretty cool. Um, thanks so much for everybody who actually sent me documentation on this. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully this did help you. And if you have suggestions for resources, leave them down in the comments. See you next time.